How can a clown cram in the can clean cream a can? What? You see how stupid I sound trying to say it fast? Now let me try to speak more slowly so that you can understand exactly what I was supposed to say. So why back I created a video articulating how we can speak more clearly and how we can stop stuttering and stumbling on our words. And the whole premise of that video of accomplishing that is to slow down when we speak. So for a lot of us, especially myself, I get very excited when I'm communicating on a topic that I find interesting. So my mouth moves faster than my brain. And it creates the problem of stumbling on my words. And that is why it's so important to start slowing down when we speak. Now, the problem with that video that I created, which you should still go watch, is that I didn't give any type of tips on how I practice on slowing down um, speaking. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. So if that sounds good to you, you should subscribe. And also like this video. I'll also, I'll link the first video, which you should probably watch first, then come back to this one. So the first way of me practice communicating more slowly, even though I'm very excited, is that I have multiple conversations. I don't know if this is just a, a Georgia Southern hospitality thing or this is just a me thing, but I speak to a lot of people who I don't know. I speak consistently to people who I do know. I speak consistently in my sales work. I have multiple conversations every day so that I can practice speaking slow. I believe that's very important because I don't know how you expect to start speaking more slowly when you're not doing the actual thing. I guess that would seem like it's common sense, but I understand for a lot of people who identify as an introvert, that can be very problematic. But if your goal is to speak more clearly, you have to force yourself to do what feels uncomfortable. So you gotta speak as much as you can, as much as possible and practice slowing down. I think for a lot of us, the reason why we speak so fast, especially in sales, if you're in SDR or any level higher than that, we speak very fast because we don't want someone to interrupt us. There's so much power in pauses when you're communicating. And during these conversations, that's what I recognize and I practice it more so. Have multiple conversations each day where you're forcing yourself to speak slow. Now, the second method that I've established that has allowed me to speak more slowly so that I can speak more clearly is that I read out loud. Now the book that I've been reading, matter of fact, it's my second time actually reading it. And I'm, I'm thinking about just studying the book this whole year is this book, 100 Million Offers by Alice Harmosa. Now, first of all, I gotta say, I ain't been sponsored. He ain't paying me, he ain't asking me to do this, but this is definitely a book that you will want to invest in to understand how to add value to someone else's life to the point that they're willing to pay you a lot of money for it. I probably spent like $30 on Amazon and I'll link it down below on this book. And it's been such a game changer. It's definitely a book that I would encourage anyone to invest in. Now, the value of reading out loud is that you force yourself to say every word and to put emphasis on every letter, to force yourself to slow down. Because if you speak fast, you'll recognize that you're not saying the word correctly. We've gotten to the point where we're lazy speakers. When we say words, we don't say them fully. We don't put emphasis on the letters of each word. And that's that limits our ability to speak more clearly. And that's why there's so much value in reading out loud. You have to force yourself to read out loud, to hear what you're saying, so that you can recognize, oh, I'm not saying this word right. And I need to put more emphasis on this word or certain letters in this word so that I can be able to speak more clearly. That is the value in reading out loud. And by the way, this book I've been reading, and it's, like I said, it's been such a game changer, but I'll also leave down, or I'll also mention some books down below that are my favorites to read, that I've read out loud that has helped me speak more clearly. Now this third and last method, which I encourage you to engage in so that you can speak more slowly, so that you can speak more clearly, is that you need to start doing some tongue twisters every day. The benefits of tongue twisters is that you're not allowed to be a lazy speaker because if you decide to be a lazy speaker, you're not gonna say the tongue twister correctly. This is easily the biggest method that I'm glad that I discovered because it allowed me to enunciate my words better and more clearly. So I'm probably gonna make a fool out of myself, but I don't care. I'm about to do a few of them right now. I'll try to say it fast, then I'll say it slow so that you can see the difference in how the senses sound 
and how much clearer I, I'm able to speak when I say it slowly. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. You, you can hear the difference. Like you're able to understand what I'm saying when I speak more slowly. How can a clown cram in the can clean cream I can? What? You see how stupid I sound trying to say it fast? Now let me try to speak more slowly so that you can understand exactly what I was supposed to say. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? You see the difference in what I just said? How more clear that sounds when I force myself to speak more slowly? Let me try one more. I just found a good one. And this one, this one gonna make me sound foolish when I try to speak fast. So here it is. Willie's worry worry. Willie's worry worry worry. I, I promise you, I ain't trying to do this on purpose to sound funny. That's what happens, and that's what it sounds like when we force ourselves to speak fast. We sound foolish. We sound, I sound drunk right now. So here's me speaking more slowly so that you can understand what I'm trying to say. Willie's really wary. Willie's really wary. You see the difference? There's a complete difference. Like the first couple of times of me trying to say that, something sounded wrong with me. I sounded drunk. The second time of me saying it and speaking more slowly i sounded sober what i'll do for you is that i will link a website of tongue twisters and also i will actually link the actual app that i use on my phone that consists of a lot of tongue twisters and i will say them every morning forcing ourselves to speak slowly so that we can speak more clearly is definitely laborious when we condition ourselves to speak fast and to be lazy speakers that's why it's very important for us to have multiple conversations, reading out loud, and doing tongue twisters. If you engage in these activities, you will be a complete different speaker, and you'll be speaking more clearly. 